Here's the problem with this comment, extremist, right-wing, anti-abortionist Christian. The burden of proof from the Bible for those of us who have Jesus-like compassion on people isn't on us, it's on you. If you believe the Bible provides permission to want to criminalize a scared pregnant woman and despise and threaten her health care provider and to hate any elected official who supports her choice and to vote vile, incompetent people into office over a single issue, then you have to prove that not only can you cobble a few verses together to try to make a case for what you believe from the Bible, but what you believe should be the most prevalent thing we see in the Bible over and over and over and over and over again. Yet not once does the Bible ever say, great idea, go take your religious beliefs and sew them into the civil code. Never once does the Bible say life begins at conception. No, Jeremiah 1, Psalm 139, and Luke 1 do not. And the Bible never says voting that single issue will make America great again. Nor does the Bible even hint that God wants America to be made great again like you believe it was in the 50s when white Christian men ruled everything, and any marginalized person was readily made fun of, rebuked, and put down. No, right-wing extremist, anti-abortionist, I'm not going to prove to you the Bible approves of abortion. I'm going to ask you to prove even one verse that supports your unbelievable extremist, dangerous belief system. And I'll give you the answer ahead of time. It doesn't. Not even once.